Hey everyone, Tim with the Word of Life Church. Got a call to prayer here for a upcoming satanic ritual uh, day, uh, holiday, holy day, whatever you want to call it, whatever they call it. Uh, it's a sick, one of their sick days, I guess you want to call it. Uh, it's actually, today's the 5th. I wish I had, uh, but have been a few days off without doing any videos. I wish I'd come a little bit closer, but uh, you know what? The Lord can come in and swing in, swing in, you know, even if it's one day, one second, and stop some of these things. But this will be on the 7th, September the 7th, and this is what's called Marriage to the Beast, okay? Marriage to the Beast, okay? And this is something, if there's any children in the room or something, you may not want to play this. Uh, clear the room first, and because uh, this is I'm just going to say a couple of things that may sound a little bit graphic. This uh, will involve sexual type stuff, and this is going to include human sacrifice, dismemberment of said sacrifice, and this will be infant to 21 years of age female. Okay? Sex sexual sacrifice dismemberment infant to 21 years of age female called marriage of the beast it is a uh, satanic holiday holy day whatever you want to call it um, they call it by many different names to them it's you know it's just it's sick okay they're sick uh, but let me uh, let me assure you once again as I do in these things that that they do these things. Uh, police departments know that they do these things. They do not broadcast these things because they do not want people to panic. They don't want people to, you know, to, to, uh, the, the, and the, the, there's a lid that, that gets put on these things. It's not broadcast on any news or anything like that because they don't want people to put people in any kind of panic or in the neighborhood or, or get any outcries to law enforcement to you know try because what they do is they go in and they do not really and truly they they investigate the crime they investigate it in the criminal element part of it they don't really investigate it in the ritualistic terms okay they investigate the actual criminal part if there's anything left they are getting these people that do this they have gotten more and more precise and they've gotten better at getting rid of evidence if you know what I mean when they do what they do so there's really nothing much left to investigate if they can find if somebody leads them to an area that they do this stuff and lost stuff this stuff is done in secret behind closed doors but thankfully the Lord leads to open doors to where the men of God that are called into this, called into the prayer and the spiritual warfare, uh, he opens doors to show uh, that the stuff's going on. So I want you, you spiritual warriors, to pray that there will be lives saved during this time and that once again the veil of this will be ripped off and that somebody uh, that where this happened will be able to point law enforcement in the right direction, whoever it may be, wherever it may be, if, even if it's here, around here, close by, which it's a good possibility. Uh, will uh, And these people will be caught and will be dealt with accordingly uh, by the law. Um, so um, that's... Uh, it's easy to get embroiled up in this and think about this and get so infuriated when I talk about this I do uh, my blood starts boiling when I think about this and it's easy to get uh, let me just say this to want to take matters into your own hands but I know I can't do that and I know you know many of you out there uh, ones I've talked to uh, friends of mine and other people that uh, you know you know, and other brothers, you know, and sisters in Christ that uh, feel the same way. Uh, but, 
you know, these people, you got to understand these people have done things and sworn allegiance to the side of darkness, have sworn allegiance to Satan, and have said things and done things that have pretty much set their soul on a course for hell and the lake of darkness. Uh, have pretty much blasphemed the Holy Ghost and uh, those that haven't are just starting in this uh, perhaps they can be saved and I hope that they do and I hope that someone gets to them before they are lost forever I pray that they do that and I pray for any victims that had that this happens to that they are saved out of this and if, if whoever if, if this does happen to somebody I pray for the, the family of these victims because normally these people disappear and the family never finds out what happens to the, the person that disappears uh, I know this is kind of heavy uh, but it's the truth it's what these people do if you don't believe that they do it or if you don't believe in what they they believe in what they're doing okay uh, trust me I, I wouldn't lie to you uh, believe me I've had years of investigative we'll say and or investigations into this so uh, just pray just pray into this, pray uh, uh, on this, that the hand of God will move upon this, okay? Okay. Uh, God bless you all, and uh, thank you for standing with me against the side of darkness, because it is very needed in this last days. And there will be more coming up soon, so just get ready and uh, pray with me now on this, okay? All right. Take care. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.